Albert Costa, tough day today, but Spain is still ahead against the United States 2-1. What are your thoughts at the moment? Well, my thoughts are that, uh, that uh, we are still alive. Well, today we lost a match that uh, was previsible, so I don't know. Uh, we will try our best tomorrow. We know that uh, it's going to be tough and, and, and very complicated, but uh, we will try our best. Uh, you've been saying that you don't feel Spain is the favourite to win this tie against the United States. What makes you say that? Well, uh, because they, they, they are playing in, in, in his country, they are playing with, uh, with the, his court and, and everything uh, that they choose. And uh, they have great players and the crowd and everything. So I don't think we are the favourites. Uh, but uh, we know that uh, we are a strong team. Then, uh, we know that uh, we are very tough. And, uh, and, and I don't know, maybe, maybe tomorrow, if we win one more match, we can beat them. Let's look at those two reverse singles. Um, before we get onto them, we start again. Just talk about the doubles rubber today uh, with the Bryan boys beating Fernando and Marcel. Give us your views on, on the way that match went. Well, I think the key was uh, they returned better than us, and, uh, and also that when we went when we won the the first set, I start to believe that uh, we we have chances to win, and and then they break us in the at the very first beginning of the second set, and uh, it was uh, complicated for us, and uh, they start to play better, and the crowd and everything was uh, was supporting them a lot, and uh, I think the Bryans has a lot of experience and. And it was the first time that Fernando and and, uh, and Marcel play each other. So um, I'm happy the way they played, and uh, so it's no complaints. All right, let's now look at the reverse singles. The first one is Marty Fisher against David Ferrer. Your thoughts on that one first, and then if you could look at Andy Roddick playing Feliciano Lopez, or whoever it is you put yeah. in. Well, of course, uh, David is gonna is, is has a very tough match against uh, Marty, but uh, he's playing. Very good level. Uh, yesterday he played unbelievable match, and uh, I really believe that he's gonna he's playing with a lot of confidence. And um, well, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be close, but uh, I really believe that uh, David is gonna have uh, a lot of chances, and he's gonna make a very tough, very tough match. And if uh, if uh, Feliciano or, or Fernando plays against uh, Andy, it's gonna be also a very close match and very tough. And I hope that uh, one of one of uh, these two matches uh, we can beat. At the moment, what is your thinking? To leave Feliciano Lopez in or to replace him? I'm good at uh, giving, asking for secrets. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not going to tell. So uh, I prefer that uh, the American team then doesn't know if uh, Feliciano or or, or, or we won't tell them. Or, or, <laughs> or, or Verdasco is playing. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you.